I'm Bob Hazen in Orange County. Happy Constable here. I love this house. Carmen Cabello has lived here in the West Side Manor community of Orla Vista for 26 years. Hurricane Ian wrecked her home when it flooded the neighborhood. Dozens had to get out on rescue boats. Carmen spent months fixing her home. I put my heart to fix this house, mm -hmm. to enjoy it. Others could not. These empty slabs show where mobile homes used to be but are now gone, too badly damaged to save. Hurricane Irma in 2017 also swamped this neighborhood, and a plan to better protect Orla Vista was approved years ago. But the actual work just started in March. Since then, hoses have been pumping water and excavators digging. A massive job ahead, and Carmen is happy to see them. I said, oh, says God, we don't going to have that problem no more, I hope. So far, the company hired by Orange County has drained two small ponds here into a much bigger third pond. And these excavators are digging out the muck and the dirt from inside. Eventually, they'll drain the big one back into the other two and dig it out as well. The goal is to make all of them 10 feet deeper and able to handle a lot more water in a big storm. But they don't expect to finish everything until next year. This system's not going to be up and running before this, this season ends. Janet Buford Johnson has a house on Ronnie's Circle. One of the ponds is in her backyard. We got a little bit of work done. She took us inside where she had to gut everything. And even worse for her is losing the memories, the sense of the home where she raised her kids. It smelled like rainwater and mold for her six months. She says the repair cost is $142,000 and it is all on her. She didn't have property insurance and FEMA only gave her a tiny fraction of that bill. He just did the drywall in here for me. We just had this put in. Janet is doing what she can, but she says her life and those of her neighbors are changed forever. You see houses that's here, but they're just vacant. They're not, nobody's there. They haven't even begun to work in their house because they don't have the money or the resources. While the work is being done to hopefully keep the flooding from happening again, Janet is trying to convince Orange County commissioners and the mayor to come up with a program to help people in Orla Vista pay for the repairs they need to rebuild and stay in their homes. I'm praying that nothing happens this year, but we live here and anything is possible.